I'm Alex and I live in Sydney with my dad, my mum, my brother and my sister. Push. Yeah, keep going. Good job. Emily was diagnosed with Batten's disease at the age of seven and since then life has been a bit weird. Emily has always been described as a friend magnet. She's always had many friends and is able just to walk up to any, any little girl that she sees and she's instantly friends with her. Now over here. So at first when she was diagnosed, I didn't quite understand what it was. Mum and Dad, they sat down and explained what it was and like what was gonna happen to her but I didn't quite like fully understand what it would look like for us as a family in the future. Children with Batten disease and childhood dementias will typically start seemingly healthy um, in life. Um, they will reach their developmental milestones and then we'll see a period of slowing, um, quite abrupt um, plateau of the acquisition of those skills and then we start to see that decline and regression of skills that had been previously acquired. Okay, but I need one too. So I really think it's brought the family together because we all have to care for her and like we work together as a team and we all have our different roles. There's this new book called Max and Abby, which talks about a family which has been diagnosed with Batten's disease. And it talks about the progression and the ups and downs that they have. One of the conversations I think that I have most frequently with, with the parents and families is that trying to explain what's happening to the affected child, to siblings uh, and their peers and other children is very challenging the part where it talks about how Max gets all Abby's parents' attention and how he keeps them awake late at night. I relate to this because Emily usually needs 24 hour care. There's always someone there to help her and sometimes that means that mum and dad don't have as much time for me and Ben, which does sometimes feel a bit lonely. We often talk about them as being sideline siblings. Um, is is they're not alone in that journey. Those siblings um, are still loved. They're still very much part of that family unit. I think it's really good. It really helps explain to little kids what is going on in the brain of a child with Batten's disease. And I think it will also help them understand what the siblings are going through because it does put lots of emphasis on the fact that life is not always easy but also the fact that there are good times it's not all just bad Somebody's knocking at the door.